Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku and today we are solving It's All Connected by Philip Newman. This is an odd tapa Sudoku. So what does that mean? We have normal Sudoku rules, so replacing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And on top of that, there is a rule that specifically applies to the odd digits in this grid that says that when you look at all of the odd digits in the grid, they all have to be part of one orthogonally connected group. So there can't be any odd digits that are floating off by themselves surrounded by only even digits. All of the odd digits have to be connected via a path of odd neighbors to every other odd digit. Also, there cannot ever be a two by two area, like a two by two square that is entirely odd. So every two by two square has to have at least one even digit in it. So we are going to color and I'm going to start by coloring all of the odd digits orange and all of the even digits blue. And Philip advised when he posted this that we solve it by focusing on the top of rules first. And so to some extent, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to do some coloring and do some identifying the uh, the odd connected path. And I'm also going to use the two by two rule here to identify that that has to be even. This also can't be one or three, five, seven or nine. So this cell is also going to be even and that's going to be an odd one. Now we have all of our even digits in this column. So these guys are going to be odd. These are going to be one, three and nine. And this is going to be two and six. Now, we need an odd digit to connect this five up to everything else. So this is gonna be odd and it can't be one, five, seven or nine. So it must be a three. That makes this a nine and resolves these digits. Now eight can't go here. So eight must go right here. So that's gonna be even, which is an eight. And that's going to be our last odd digit there, which is a seven. So now we have one, seven and nine here. We have one, seven and nine here. So we know that these digits also have to be one, seven and nine because that's the only place we can possibly put those three digits in the top row. These can't be seven because there are sevens in columns four and six. So that's going to be a seven. And that means these are going to be two and three and these will be five and six. And this has to be a three. And now we need to place a five somewhere in this row. It can't go right there. So we know that's going to be an even digit, which can only be an eight. And then these two will be five and six. Okay. What next? So this cell can't be a two, four, six, or eight because it sees all of those. So this is going to be odd. So it's going to be either one or nine. And now we still need a three in this column, which can't go there because there's a three in the region. So the three is going to go right there. Now this cell has to be even because if it was odd, we would have multiple two by twos there. So this is going to be even, making it a six. And these two digits in the column will be odd. Those will be our three and our nine. So now we have three and nine here, three and nine here. So we need a three and nine in this region that have to go there and there. And that makes this a one and makes this a nine. And now seven can only go there because there's already a seven in row seven. So now we have all of our odd digits in row nine. So these are going to be two, six, and eight. Those are all even. We need a nine in one of those. And then these both have to be even with this being a four and this being either a two or a six. Now these are going to be four and seven and we can figure out which one is which both by Sudoku and by looking at this where we can't have an odd two by two. So now these are going to be one, six, and eight. That can't be a one. So we know whatever this is, it is even. And then one of these is going to be our one. One of these needs to be a nine. Our last digit in this column is going to be a four, which is even. These will be a four and a nine, which go this way around because there's a four right there already. So this is odd and our four is going to be even.
These will be from 1, 6, and 8. This can't be a 6 because there is a 6 right there. And that can't be a 1, therefore this must be even. We have 9 in one of those cells. We do already have that. Uh, and the 2 and 3 result because we have a 3 at the bottom of column 2. This can't be a 6 because there's a 6 in the row. Those are going to be from 5, 6, 8, and 9. That's from 5, 6, or 9, and it's not a 6 because there's a 6 in the row, so we do know that this is odd. And this is the only position for a 2 in the region, so 2 is going to go right there. Okay, now if I recall correctly, there's something a little bit tricky, but not, not too incredibly intractable going on here now. But what was it? <laughs> I'm going to pause the recording for a moment because I need to remind myself of what the next move was in this puzzle. This is a bit of a challenging one. Uh, okay, that only took me a moment, thank goodness. Um, so we need to connect the odd digits on the right side through to the rest of the grid. So this has to be odd to connect up to the path. So that's going to be a 1. That makes this even, and this will now be an odd 1. Now, one of these is going to be an 8. So that's not an 8, therefore this is odd. So in order to connect these to the rest of the grid, we have to either somehow go all the way down and through here, or we have to connect to the left and then down. But we can't go all the way down and through, because if we did that, we would actually have six odd digits in this column. So we must be connecting through here to the left, which is going to give us a 5 right there. And that's now a 6. And that's the move that I found most challenging to spot when I was initially solving this. This is now an 8 by Sudoku, and that is either a 5 or a 9, and it is odd. Now we need to connect these cells at the top left through, so that has to be a 5 to make it part of the odd network. That's a 6. That's a 5, and I'm going to finish my coloring before I do the last digits. 9 and 5. And that is how you solve It's All Connected by Philip Newman. I really enjoyed that one, even though it was a little bit more challenging than usual. Um, hybrid puzzles can be kind of tricky because you need the rules, the types of logic that belong to both Sudoku and another puzzle type, in this case, Tapa. Uh, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed that one. I think that was really nicely designed. And if you want to solve it yourself, the link is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in three days.